Jackie Gleason, Tom Cruise, Burt Reynolds, Wade Bridges, Johnny Weissmiller, a couple of guys, Tarzan. So if you follow the sand down there where it meets that ledge that parallels the river bottom, that is the spring vent or the spring opening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is called a horizontal vent because it parallels the river bottom. This spring below you is 26 feet deep. Yes. Look at all the glass bottom rolls down there with Norse Day. No, it was not. Now, it has been some time since we've actually had a movie thing here, so the star of our springs are our fish. Let's see if I can get these guys to come up to the bottom of the boat and wave to everybody. These little guys down here are called Brim and Bluegill. We call them Lucky Brim because it is illegal to fish along the entire Silver River. So these guys will never make it home to a fish fry. But we do have 22 species of native fish in the ecosystem. Brim, Bluegill, Catfish, Mullet, Largemouth Bass. We have three fish left over from the Jurassic period. That would be the Spotted Garfish, the Florida Garfish, and the Bowfin. The blue fish with the forked tail, those are called blue shad. Yep, that's a large mouth bass down there. We also have two non-native species of fish in the ecosystem. That would be the armor cat or the placo and the blue tilapia. They're an evasive species. They eat everything. Now our next spring we're going to view is an actual movie set. This spring is called Creature Spring. The cave down there is called Creature Cave. <laughs> they want to guess what three movies were made here? Um, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon and Return to the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And my personal favorite, Revenge of the Creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> Every one of those movies, you'll see that cave down there. That cave was the creature's home. The creature was named the Gill Man. Now he looked like a cross between a human and a lizard. In fact, you can actually see one of these original costumes in our education center when you get off the boat. It's located between the gift shop and the restaurant. Now the gentleman that played the creature, his name was Rico Browning. Rico worked here as a stunt diver. He put that spongy rubbery costume on, did not use scuba gear in it. He would hold his breath. They said he could hold his breath for almost a minute and 20 seconds. He'd swim down there 33 feet, crawl into that cave, wait for him to yell, action, come out and make his appearance. If you ever saw TV shows like I Spy and Sea Hunt, you saw Rico in those as a stunt diver. He later became an underwater filmmaker, helped make movies in the James Bond series like Never Say Never, Moonraker, and Thunderball. And if you ever saw the TV series called Flipper, he was one of the co-creators of that TV show also. He got his start here playing a giant lizard. I am waiting for my little break any day. Now all this water coming out of the ground comes out of the Florida Aquifer. The Florida Aquifer is a series of underground caverns that extends down from southern Georgia and Alabama all the way to south Florida. Florida sits on top of porous limestone. So when the groundwater seeps into these passages, it erodes them away, creating giant underground rivers. Anytime there's a weak spot in any of these caverns, the water comes up and out, and that's what creates.